Her tramp stamp doesn't show. That's what she's trying to do. Stop. I do not have. If I had a tramp stamp, that area of my body, I want to make sure is covered. (laughs) But I do not have a tramp stamp. So. Hey, guys, welcome to Raising an Archer. And you have got Wendy and Scott right here for a really, really weird episode. What not to wear. In an archery competition. Yes. So, um. There are tournaments uh, that do not allow you to wear certain things. They have a dress code. There is... Uh, You're allowed to go sleeveless. You... You're allowed to wear uh, crop tops, I think. Um, what else? Tank tops. And I'm talking about the guys. Tops, I'm know? talking about the guys. So, no. There are... You must have sleeves on your shirt. Please do not come to a tournament without sleeves on your shirt. I don't know if you noticed, her voice is really weird today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. These ear infections in both ears and the drainage and the, I don't know, probably teaching on top of it. She's I, really struggling right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at her. We're, we're running Zoom right now. We had to do this one remote because it's been really difficult into your school and all the craziness of life right now. So we had to we had to do a Zoom. She's actually at Texas Archery right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. While you're at home, and I'm at home, mm-hmm. and we're doing our, yeah. our our podcast. She had to bring all her equipment. This is there. how much I love you guys. That's right, I did. I brought my own backpack slash suitcase <laughs> with me to the shop. And yeah, the doctor had told me stay. You need to stay home till at least Wednesday, um, maybe Thursday. I said, ma'am, am I contagious? And she said, no. I said, well, that's impossible for me to stay home. So you just keep your little doctor's note and I'm, I'm going to go now. So you can yeah. give it to me, but I'm not taking it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even want it because it goes into now it's computerized. And so there's this thing called an app called my chart and it's in there. So I'm like, no, mm-mm, I don't even want it. Just don't even put it in there. So yeah, I'm a little under the weather, but it's going to be all right. Um, but back to what not to wear. And the reason there's okay, a reason why so, there's a reason why there's a lot of outdoor tournaments coming up, and it's mm-hmm, hot. We are in outdoor season. It is yes, hot out there. It is tempting. Yeah, it's very tempting. And you got to understand that e- dress code even counts, or is e- e- you have to do follow it even during the practices when there's official official practices. That's yeah. right. Yeah, even the uh, the practices the day before, they'll you have to you're supposed to to meet the dress code. Yes, so, I get questions a lot of times because pictures will be posted, and it'd be on unofficial practice and uh, just open practice. And I'm okay; those I can't do anything about. Judges aren't out there. There's a, somebody running the clock, and that's it. And, and but on official practice, yes. So sorry, dress code is in effect. Oh my goodness, I am that judge. You are but that I, judge. But I, you know, I don't know. If I'm not judging, I do not, like there was a young man. She's judging. Uh, Let's just get it straight. When she's not judging, she's still judging. I was afraid this dad thought that I turned his kid in. But another judge called another judge over who were, they were working the event. And uh this kid had been shooting and on a well-known team, uh, but he had been shooting for quite a while that day in Crocs. And I'm like, no, I'm staying in my lane. This is, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. But uh, someone had asked me, and I'm right behind that dad, and I did. I said, well, no, it is not allowed. Uh, but I, again, but just moments later, a judge brought another judge over, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, now they're going to think it was me. But you must have closed-toed shoes, and they must fully go around your feet. So <clears throat> something else they have been telling us to watch for were the Crocs boots. Croc boots. I don't even know how to say that. I croc mean, what, boots. What, what is this? Are there holes all in, boots. in a croc boot as well? I believe so. You'll just have to look them up. They are ridiculous. I don't know. I'm probably hurting someone's feelings right there. But uh, well, Ryan, that, Ryan has they, the uh, croc tennis shoes. They look like regular I, I don't tennis even shoes, know what but they got is. little tiny holes all in them. He says they're super comfortable. Oh, Oh, my goodness. I have not seen those. Thank goodness he does not wear those to tournaments. So, 
Yeah, so we start at the feet and then we go up. Whenever you're looking at pants, they must not have any rips or holes in them. If they do, okay, I do not understand this rule because we're looking at being professional. However, the rule is if they are ripped or have holes in them, we must use tape, duct tape, and cover the holes in the rips. Yeah, that, that looks way better, too, if, if you've ever like, seen it. It looks <laughs> awesome. Duct tape. I'm like, that is... Cross the jeans. I don't understand it. I mean, but it does cover the skin. So I, I'm pretty sure that's where they're going with that rule. Um, but it, it does not look so professional, but it does cover the skin at that point. A lot of discussion has been about the frayed hem. So there is a decorative fray hen, hem, not a hen like a chicken, but a hem in a jean. And they have actually posted pictures of what the decorative hem look like. And it's all uniform. There's actually a stitching that goes around to keep it from fraying where you've got strings, all different lengths hanging down. And uh, if you do have strings hanging down, then we will get scissors for you to trim them to where they are all uniform, where we're back to that decorative hem. All right. We cannot have any see-through parts of your pants from the knees up. What? It must be. Really? <laughs> so they have those panels and those leggings that you can see through. And if it is from the knees down, no problem. Again, not a rule I understand because we can't have rips. But these are, do not have rips. It is just that it's kind of a mesh kind of material. Yeah. And so we cannot have that from the knees up. Then we come into your favorite crop tops. Well, no, I got I got a question uh, for you. I got a question question for you. What? So I have seen some wear those like they're like yoga shorts, like the tight pants, the tight um they look like workout I don't know what they're called. I don't mean, they're girls will wear them. They look they're almost shorts. like a bike short. Yeah, like but bike not... shorts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've seen some of those, which doesn't make sense to me. Maybe you can answer this, but like <laughs> I've you, seen can't, some pros you can't wear have them. Yes. you can't have the yoga pants that has see through above the knee, but you can wear yoga pants or yoga shorts that come just short length. Yes. I agree. Uh, then let's also talk about the length of shorts. So they used to have where it was fingertip. Well, if you've got somebody with really short arms or you have someone with really long arms, that can be a just stop. My word. I was doing the, so the whole T-Rex thing with recorded. my arms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. All right. So th that can come into play where uh, that's going to make – for some really short shorts, or it's going to make for some really long shorts. If we can see the curvature of your bottom, your shorts are too short, and we're going to ask you to go and put something else on. Uh, we Parents have switched bottoms. Not a problem. Go ahead, change your new parents' clothes. I, I, it's fine. Uh, if you are wearing, this is the way I say it. If when you bend over to pick up your scorecards or you bend over to pick up an arrow and I can see any curvature, it's too short. So you have to be modest in what you are wearing. Not only shorts, but the skorts. We see that a lot. You, If you're going to wear the skort, you must have some shorts on underneath there because it's outdoors. The wind's going to blow. Everywhere, wind is going to blow outside. Ladies, think about this. I know the younger girls like wearing it too. Uh, the college girls like wearing it. Uh, there are some adults. <clears throat> Please be modest in what you wear. You are representing a club. You're representing yourself, your family. Let's just watch what we wear. All right. I also want to say this kind of comes into the guys too. Short shorts are coming back in style, sadly, but they are coming back in style. 
Oh my word, please, you guys, let's make sure that nothing is showing and that they are of appropriate length. Meaning, if your what about appropriate boxers size? are hanging out the bottom. So if they're too tight, yes. <laughs> they're short and too tight. I was trying tight. not to. The, the tightness does not is not written in the dress code, but I would hope, I would hope, and we have seen archers with quite tight clothing. You were just talking about the biker shorts on girls. Um, gentlemen, also, when we can see different body parts, please, please be modest. Uh, and, and I know I gain weight. My weight fluctuates. Okay, it's all right. We're all family here. But let's just be modest in what we're wearing. With that being said, I, I saw a pro shooting recently, and it was cold where we were. So he had on multiple layers. And we say layer up, don't we, Scott? Mm-hmm. La- go in layers. Absolutely. Well, this poor gentleman, whenever he would raise, you know how a hoodie has the band down at the bottom? Oh, that poor hoodie raised up all of his shirts. So I got to see the full midriff along with what color of undies he had on. It was a bit much for me. But, um, yeah, I won't ever look at that gentleman the same. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I don't know, and it makes me self-conscious now whenever I go. I'm like, oh, my word. Even whenever I sit down as a judge, I try to make sure that... Her tramp stamp doesn't show. That's what she's trying to do. Stop. I do not have... If I had a tramp stamp, that area of my body, I want to make sure is covered. (laughs) But I do not have a tramp stamp. So, just trying to make sure that part of my body is covered. So, y'all all all know what what part of the body we're talking about. All right. So, that brings us to new no crop tops. You have to be... Completely covered when you're at full draw. No midriff showing when you are at full draw. I think that's key. Then also that I know that we've run into that a little bit, especially. I mean, we've seen it the adults. We see it with the youth. You know, they walk up and the shirt looks fine, but when they go to full draw, then it's an issue. And then when you have, you try to talk to them, normally we we have you know Wendy go talk to them, um, and 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 you can see them pull down the shirt like no no it's good it's good. You know, but it's not good. And at that point, most of the time I try to talk to a parent or a coach and I tell them, if you would, have your archer raise their arms to where they would be at full draw. And every time that I say that, they go, oh. And they're like, we'll go get a T-shirt. Someone around there is buying a T-shirt. Someone around there has a T-shirt in the car. And we don't say, well, your archer cannot shoot until they fix this. No, if you're taking care of the problem, your archer is going to continue to shoot. And as soon as you get back, they can go change. Stop it. I didn't say anything. I'm not the mean judge. You know, we, we even enforce, we even enforce this during practice as well. Um, so we don't, we don't allow, even if we have an archer show up with a shirt that's too short when they get to full draw, um, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be unusual to see them. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll take, they'll, their, their, their mom will have a jacket or something that they tie around them um, so that when they go to full mm-hmm. draw, you still don't see that midriff. Exactly. I mean, just some, some way of trying to take care of that. Again, we're trying to be modest out there. We watch who we represent uh, or we want to watch who we represent. Uh, we want to make sure that we're representing in the best possible way. Does that mean you have to come dressed to the nines? No. Just dress appropriately. Does it mean you have to have a long... They would have you wear all white. White pants, white shirt. Keep everybody uniform. I can't even imagine getting the stains out of that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Me. Every time I eat, you can tell what I wore or what I ate because it's all over my shirt. You know, it's just... uh, Yeah, that would be awful. Would you have Whataburger today? I can tell. Stop it. I have my special attraction teacher shirt on today. 
you guys can't see her. We're not. We're, we're actually not recording our video. We're just recording our audio. We should have yeah. done our video. It would have been okay. Right. I've got a great backdrop behind me. Yeah, your view is awesome. Repping some brands. Yeah. Mine's not great. I know. I'm in it. Of course, it's awesome. All right. So, oh, so we've got the shirts. On that so one. we've got the shirts. All right. So you must have a shirt with sleeves. You cannot have a tank top. You cannot have a, a tube top. How long do the you sleeves have to have be? Spaghetti straps. It just has to have a the mark of a sleeve, right? It has to have the mark of a sleeve, and then I. Uh, this is another odd thing, but archers can roll the sleeves up or tuck them under to where it's a little cooler. But if a judge comes up to you and asks to see your sleeve, you must be able to roll down that sleeve. If you are unable to do so, you will be asked to change shirts. Uh, that's, so, that's interesting. I knew that rule, but it's still it just kind of it's just interesting. Yeah, that, there's some that are just kind of strange, but they are the rules. We don't make the rules, but we are asked to enforce the rules. And what is good is that by getting this information out, archers and coaches and parents can make sure that everyone is set before they get to a tournament. It is awful. To have to go to an archer, that changes their whole mindset. They're worried about that. Um, I have been at official practice, and there's been someone in Crocs, and he and his buddy, both of them were pros, they would go back, they would switch their shooting and switch their shoes as they went back to the archer's area. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I saw the guy come back up to the line. I'm like, what? Oh on you tell me you didn't have any shoes because i don't well dude you've got shoes on right now I, i'm kind of lost and he said look back there and his buddy was back there with his crocs on so I'm just swapping <laughs> there's always ways to make it work <laughs> some are a little unconventional um i would be going oh oh my feet are in somebody else's sweaty shoe do they have fungus? Oh, uh, is that sweat? If it's a dude, it's probably there is probably fungus, you know, in there. Yeah, right. Ew, so gross. So just making sure. And if you think your skirt or your shorts are too short, or you're wondering, oh, I wonder if these are too short. Don't wear them. They're probably. If you've got to wonder if, if you, they're if too wonder, short, yeah. It's probably too short. If you wonder, if you think, you know what, I might need to take another pair of shorts just in case. Well, why even wear them? Why even go that route? It's going to waste time. Your mental process is going to be off because in my mind, if I've got to take another pair of shorts with me or I'm wondering about that, every time a judge comes near me, I'm going to, uh, I'm trying to pull them down to make sure. And we've seen that. We have seen that. Yes, absolutely. You know, we were talking about what's our ne next podcast. We know that. This is, we're, we're right in the middle of outdoor season. It's, it's about yep. to get very, very hot where it doesn't matter where you go. And we know that that's when we start um, going, you know what? It's so hot. Nobody's going to say anything. Somebody's going to say something. Um, I that's say somebody. Right. It's, just, it's the rules. So just uh, abide it by it. It is a rule. We're not going to the next target just yet. Vulgar language on your clothing. Oh, yeah. Make sure that what is uh, uh, not only vulgar language, but appropriate language. That would be key as well. And making sure it's not advertising drugs or alcohol or violence. And, I, and, and for the most part, um, you know, most archers, they, they have their shooting jerseys and, you know, it's just yes. best, best to wear those. They breathe very, most of them breathe very well. So in the heat. Yes. So. It's a, and, and it looks uniform with your team if you have a team that shoots it. So I always encourage all of our archers to wear their, their jerseys so that they feel like they're part of that team, too. And it's easy. Absolutely. It's a sense of belonging. Yep. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys at the next target. And that is it for this episode of Raising an Archer.